the grace of God is sufficient for you. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. And it's a pleasure for us to meet in the presence of the Lord. As we are just about to cross into the new year, the year 2021. Before we cross into this new year, it is very important for us to look at ourselves, our hearts, and see if our hearts are at the best position. I mean a position to attract the Holy Spirit. Let me share with you the Bible in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, which we are going to read, take our reading from verse 12. The Bible says, Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Listen to this. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Or, forgive us our sins, as we also have forgiven those who sinned against us. Or forgive us our trespasses, just as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. Child of God, All of us need God's forgiveness for one thing or the other. There are many sins that we have committed that we would like our Lord Jesus Christ to forgive us. We are not perfect. Therefore, at times, even when we think we are right, we find ourselves committing wrong. And because of that, we need God's forgiveness. But the word that we have just read says, forgive us as we have forgiven. Forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. As you are in need of God's forgiveness, the question I want to ask you is, have you forgiven those who trespassed against you? Have you forgiven those who've done you wrong? Because failing to forgive others that trespasses against us is equally failing to forgive ourselves. If you cannot forgive the next person, if you cannot forgive your neighbor, of what they have done unto you, then you should know that in the same way you are putting yourself in a position where the Lord cannot forgive you. Or sometimes we look and count and say, no, I, this person keeps on doing wrong. I forgave him last time. I forgave him that other time. This time around, I won't forgive him. If I were to ask you a question, should God put you in the same position that each time you sin against him, he count it against you? And after some time, the Lord will say to you, just like you are saying of others, I think you have sinned many times. I've forgiven you many times. This time around, I won't forgive you. Is this the way that you want Jesus to treat you? Of course not. So at this present moment, as we are about to venture into the new year, I would like to ask you to forgive those who sin against you. Look at yourself, look at your life very well and see who has done you wrong. And make it your responsibility that from here, you are going to give them a call to forgive them. You are going to give them a call to release them. I forgive you. Is it even to the extent of which this is the person who has damaged your marriage? 
If you cannot forgive this woman, if you cannot forgive this man, in the same vein, the Lord cannot forgive you. So you have to forgive them. I want to pray with you that the spirit of forgiveness, which can only come as a result of the Holy Spirit in us, may this spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord our God give you the grace and give you the heart to forgive those who trespassed against you. May God grant you the inner grace to forgive others in the name of Jesus Christ. May God grant you the inner grace to forgive those who trespassed against you. May God give you the inner grace to forgive those who have done you wrong, who did evil before your sight. I pray for that inner grace in the name of Jesus. May God grant you that inner grace to forgive others. O oh, Holy Spirit, touch their hearts and give them the grace to forgive. Give them the grace to forgive. Give them the grace to forgive. Give them the grace to forgive in the name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, I believe you will say to it, that you forgive your neighbor. And as we move on, I want to share with you a very critical message, very important. If we can take our Bible to the book of Exodus, chapter 14. The book of Exodus, chapter 14, we will take our scripture reading from verse 10. Let us listen to what the Bible says. As Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up, and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone. Let us serve the Egyptians. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. The Israelites are panicking or thrown into a panic because they saw their enemies, many the Egyptians, advancing. And they started to say a lot. Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. Listen to this. Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on to raise their staff and stretch out their hand over the Red Sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. Just like the Israelites, oftentimes we run from situations that are meant to be a blessing in our lives. When the Israelites saw the Egyptians, the Egyptian army advancing, they were terrified. They panicked. And they asked Moses a lot of questions. Is it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us here to come and die in the desert? What is it that you have done to us? Little did the Israelites know that this was an opportunity for their God to be glorified. 
This was an opportunity for their name to be feared among all nations as a result of what the Lord would eventually do. God said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Stretch out your hand to the sea, divide the waters, and let them walk on the sea, but on dry ground. Take note of walk on dry ground, but in the sea. God did not remove the Red Sea because the people of God, his people were passing there. He allowed them to face the sea. God will not allow, he will not remove troubles from your life. He will not remove challenges or not allow them to come your way because you are a person of God. He will allow you to face your Red Sea. He will allow you to be challenged. He will allow you to be sick. But in the same manner, the same God will cause you on the very sea to walk on dry ground. Meaning, the Lord will see you through any situation you are facing. Is it sickness? Is it disease? Is it COVID-19 as that is the situation we find ourselves? Is it poverty? Is it the loss of job? Or maybe your business is not doing well. Child of God, the Lord will not remove the Red Sea because you are there. But he will make a way through the Red Sea for you. As a child of God, you must understand that the Lord can still allow you to be infected with the COVID-19. But in your case, he will make a way through this COVID-19 for you. Let us all understand what happened. After God granted the Israelites victory, from this time going forward, their name was feared among all nations. These are the people who passed through the Red Sea but on dry ground. These are the people of whom the Egyptians, because of them, many Egyptians died. These are the people, these are the people. Their name became famous due to the same Red Sea. In the same vein, whatever you are going through, God can still use it to make you famous. This is the man who survived cancer. This is the man who survived COVID-19. This is the man who lost his job. But look at what has happened in his life. God said, tell them to stand firm, stand still, and they shall see the deliverance of the Lord. My people, my message for you, when it comes to this coming year, 2021, the Red Sea is in front of us. Oh, yes. In this 2021, the Red Sea is just standing in front of us. But we have to understand that the Lord makes a way where there seems to be no way. Those of you who trust in him, through the adverse situations you will face, you shall become famous. Through whatever situation that is contrary, that you will go through, the name of your God shall be made famous. Through any challenging circumstance you find yourself, oh yes, God will take you from grace to grace. But my advice to you here, don't be afraid of what you are just about to go through. You need to be firm. You need to be rooted in the word. You need to be rooted in your faith in Christ for you to see the greatness of God. At this, I would like us to venture into this kind of light. Remember that when we light our candles, this is merely symbolic. When we light our candles, we are going to ask him to let his light to shine in our coming year. The year 2021. 
so that through whatever you will face, the light of God may shine in your life. Just like the Israelites whom through the day, there was a pillar of cloud that protected them from the heat of the sun that led them their way. And the scripture says, at night there was a pillar of fire that went before them to give them direction. In the same way, I believe that this is going to be your pillar of fire. The Lord is going to direct you. The Lord is going to give, help you in your decision making. So that every decision you make, you should be on God's track in the name of Jesus Christ. And I would like if you can prepare your candle. And at this point in time, let us light it in the name of Jesus. And wherever you are, let us be on our knees as we are going to pray and ask Jesus for our coming year, the year 2021. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray at this point in time for this year, 2021. May we see your light shine in our lives. We know that we too, adverse situations are but a stepping stone. Contrary circumstances and situations are but a stepping stone, a means of promotion. When the Israelites saw the Egyptians, they were scared, they feared for their lives, cried aloud. Little did they know that this was the time for their name to be great. This was the time for their God to be popular. Whatever situation this person is going through, I pray right now. May they be famous through this situation. Grant them victory, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Is it sickness? Disease, loss of job, or their business is not doing well, their marriage both shaking. I pray in the name of Jesus, let your light shine in their lives. May the light of God shine in your life right now. May it shine in your business. May the light of God shine in your finances. May it shine in your soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that as your light shine in their life, let it dispel all shades of darkness in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Dispel all shades of darkness in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. All spirits that were tormenting them, making their lives to be bitter, tormenting them, I pray for their release in the name of Jesus. I pray for their release in the name of Jesus. I pray for their release in the name of Jesus. May they be free. May they be free in the name of Jesus Christ. May they be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, child of God, listening to my voice. Wherever you are connected through spirit fellowship in the spirit crossover, I pray in the name of the Lord right now. May the light of God shine in your life. May the light of God shine in your business. May the light of God shine in your finances. May the light of God shine wherever you are in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your light that is shining in this year, 2021. Thank you, Father. I know you will make them famous through whatever they are going through. Their name shall be honored. Their name shall be honored. Their name shall be honored. Their name shall be honored in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to believe with you that no matter what you are facing, Jesus is your strength. The Lord will help you through whatever life shall bring. Don't be afraid of the Red Sea. Pass through your Red Sea and see the greatness of God in your life. I want to say to you at this point in time, Happy New Year. May your life in the year 2021 be a blessed one in the name of Jesus. Till we meet again, remain in faith in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless you. Thank you.